looking at example 2 and 5.1, it says write the equation of the, li of the line shown. And your line shown has a y-intercept of negative 4, is that right? Mm -hmm. And an x-intercept of 2. So they want us to write the equation. Now what bits of information do we need to write an equation in slope-intercept form? The slope and the so y-intercept. It's called slope-intercept form, which means we need the slope and specifically the y-intercept. Okay, so if this is my line that's coming through here, can I tell either one of those bits of information? Can I find the slope or the y-intercept? Yes. Okay, what's the easiest thing to find? The y-intercept. Where does the line cross the y-axis? Negative four. So that tells me that B, the y-intercept, equals negative four. So now what do I need to find? The slope. So how do I find the slope? What you want to do is you want to take and you want to find points that reach a perfect intersection on your graph paper. You're going to find if these were lines, that would come right through there. You're going to have one here and here and here. Um, and you'll have one even farther down and up there, but we can just look at these. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick this point and this one. We can do this one and this one. It works out the same. We'll do it both ways just to show you. If we're traveling from this point to this point, when we think slope, what's the phrase we always use? Rise over, rise over run. So we say rise over run. Okay. So how much do we rise from here to here? Two. How much do we run? One. Okay, and just to check ourselves, does this line have a positive slope? Yes. Yes, so the answer should be positive. So the slope of that would be 2. Now let's do it again using this point against this point. So if I'm traveling from here to here, how much do I rise? 4. I rise 4, and I run how many? 2. two. And 4 over 2 reduces to 2 over 2. 2 over 1, which is the same as 2. It's the same. Okay. Okay. So to write an equation in slope-intercept form, you need what two things? Slope. The slope and the y-intercept. How do you find the y-intercept? The y-intercept. Look where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay, and then to find the slope, what do you do? Find two points that you are on intersections on the graph, and then you can go do rise over run. Always check when you're done. Always check to make sure you have your negatives right. If your line comes down this way, if it falls from left to right, it's a negative slope. Always check. It takes less than a second to go positive or negative slope. Just look at it and go, okay, good. I'm good. Most things people miss on these types of problems are changing the sign on slope. So don't do that.